playing with Paul A. TTS. I try out all kinds of text-to-speech apps for various things, such as narrating a video like this one. What intrigued me about Parlay TTS is that you can use a prompt to exactly describe the speaker's voice and intonation. It was also trained on 34 speakers you can use by name that give mostly consistent results. Here's the exact description prompt for the voice you're hearing right now. Rick speaks in a very animated and expressive voice at a moderate pace, with almost no noticeable background noise, making for a clear and focused listening experience in a closely enclosed space. Or you can just leave it up to chance and describe a female speaker, though you can still direct the output, such as... A female speaker at a slightly slow pace, with a quite high-pitched quite monotone voice, but enunciates every word with precision in a very spacious environment. As you can see, I've slapped a Gradio front end on it, because why wouldn't you? It's the Gradio demo from the GitHub page, but I've made a few alterations to it to do my bidding. The most notable of which is adding a toggle for using a seed or not a seed input box, and a random seed generator, and a quick reference to the best speakers. Using a seed affords you a certain extra level of consistency and repeatability, which is, of course, preferable if you're trying to use the same voice over multiple samples. And I can just hit the randomize button if I don't like what I'm getting or want to try out some different intonation. But as long as I have a record of the seed, which I output to the terminal each generation to, I can reproduce the same output. If you don't use a seed, you're shooting in the dark without any control. If you use a fixed seed, you're severely limiting the overall potential of the model. For if you're still here and still watching, thank you, so... Let me show you some examples of the speakers. Well, hello there. My name is Mike. I sound like an old man with sagging jowls, I guess. Hey, this is Mike with the same seed. Everything else in the description prompt is the same. Hey, this is Mike with the new seed. Everything else in the description prompt is the same. Hey, this is Mike with the new seed. Everything else in the description prompt is the same. This is Mike again. My description has been changed to say that I'm very monotone with a sad-sounding voice. Hey, this is Anna. I sound like an older lady with a bit of a croak to her voice. Don't you think? Hey, this is Anna with the same seed. Everything else in the description prompt is the same. Hey! This is Anna with a new seed. Everything else in the description prompts is the same. Hey, this is Anna with a new seed. Everything else in the description prompt is the same. This is Anna again. My description has been changed to say that I have a very slow, sad-sounding voice. Well, good day to you. This is Gary, and I have a very nice expressive voice here. Wouldn't you agree? Hello again. This is Gary with the same seed. Everything else in the description prompt is the same. Hello again. This is Gary with a brand new seed. Everything else in the description prompt is the same. Hello again. This is Gary with a brand new seed. Everything else in the description prompt is the same. This is Gary again. And I seem to have lost my previous nice expressive spark. Wouldn't you agree? Hi, this is Emily. I sound kind of chirpy and expressive. Probably a great voice for video, right? What do you think? Hi, this is Emily with the same seed. Everything else in the description prompt is the same. Hi, this is Emily with a new seed. Everything else in the description prompt is the same. Hi, this is Emily with a new seed. 
Everything else in the description prompt is the same. Hey, it's Emily. I have to admit, I'm feeling kind of sad and depressed. I'm sorry to bring the mood down. So, as you can see, you can get quite a variety of styles and tones, even from the named speakers. And I do hasten to add that the output is not always consistent. Sometimes you get something totally out of left field, but not nearly as much as with Bach. Now, here's one additional twist of power tip, if you like. The voice you're listening to now is the same voice you've been listening to all along. Our very expressive rip. I export the edited audio track from this portion of the video into RVC and change the voice for another cloned, trained voice model. Why you ask? Well, partly because I can, but mostly because I get the best of both worlds in terms of control over the expression and tone than absolute control over the final voice consistency. I'm sure you've noticed there is some variation in, in Rick's narration over the many individual samples I've strung together, but the descriptive guidance does give us very similar expression and intonation, so this way I get that extra consistency in the voice itself. I think it's a promising workflow that's actually quite a lot of fun to do. It won't be for everyone, particularly if you want an entire transcript read in one go. But it's another tool in the ever-growing arsenal. And it's a lot cheaper than options like 11 Labs because it's free.